Hey, how are you doing? I am Gio. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully, welcome back because we are on episode six of season three of Love Hate, the final episode of this season. And I imagine this has got to be a, a great ending for a great season. This has been by far the best Love Hate um, season so far. Right? It really has. It's been, I think, what, what this one had. Then none of the rest had because you're fucking ring light my was um anxiety, right? The feeling that the feel of danger as we know the characters and for the first time you feel like everything is coming down, right? Everything's going against them, there's things happening and you feel for them, you feel danger for them, right? In the, as claustrophobia in the walls closing in feeling and and it's happened right it's happened i mean we could go through the whole story um there's an issue with the ira well they just try to sort it out he goes drinking with the ira sort of patriarch something happens with siobhan and they gotta say it the guy um forces himself on siobhan tommy Hits him, the guy injures himself quite badly, done and finishes the job. Right? And then the the family of said IRA member are um, looking for their dad and looking for revenge. Right? And from there, everything sort of explodes. Um, they get rid of the body with Franz's help, because, you know, Franz's a good guy. Yeah, I like Franz. Um, but last episode, you know, they suspect, right? The IRA suspect. Because Nidge was the last person I saw with Git. He was the last person to be seen with him. So, of course, it lands on him. And although they are, I guess, semi-satisfied with the story, with Nidge's story, with Nidge has played it well, they are not 100% convinced, you know? And then Siobhan tells Donna, because Donna is so trustworthy. I mean, I don't know Donna, but I can tell she's a mouth. But I just better look at her. Just by the fucking look where you can tell what Siobhan tells her because I guess she needs somebody to tell because she doesn't have Tommy because Tommy is Tommy's mind's over here where a prostitute. So she doesn't have Tommy. So she has to tell Donna. And Donna tells Fran the first night she meets him up at up at Alleyway. She tells a complete stranger. So Fran, you know. Fran tells Nidge, Nidge threatens Donna, Donna goes to the fucking police. And then Donna's in the police station, and they're saying, if it was a name, blah, blah, she's going, I shouldn't have came. And you're going, no, mate, you shouldn't have. You really shouldn't have. And then everyone gets arrested, and, you know, from that point on, it doesn't matter about procedure in found guilty in a court of law, as far as the IRA are concerned, right? I mean... As long as you can justify their, um, it, it, it just justifies their suspicions, right? They just want revenge and they don't really care who it is, right? And the fact that the people who they suspected have been questioned is good enough for them. So everything is about to go, everything's about to go tits up, right? Everything's about to go bad. Um, what's happened? Ray, the raw guy, died in his sleep, which is a bit weird. A weird story, like he's found dead in his bed in the morning. I don't know. Um, Debbie robs her mother again, just showing the character. You think she's going to get her life together, she's speaking about paying for rehab and stuff like that. And straight her salute, but as soon as her mother's gone, she dips her purse because you know, and, you know, like I said, a lot of times I've read about this, in, in a lot of times with heroin addiction. I'm not trying to justify it or make excuses for her, but it, that stage in your addiction it is not really a choice, right? Like it's autopilot. You've got no choice. You, your, your body is taking that push, right? And you've got your mind, your conscious mind has nothing to do with it. The virus in the it has infected your body. You know the 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 parasite. It's like a, it's like a parasite. Infects and develops your brain and makes you act a certain way. Like Debbie didn't think she'd be doing the things she'd been doing like a couple of years ago. Nine million, nine million years did she think she'd be selling her body for? No, but you know, 
like I said, it's a, it's a it's a parasite. It takes over your your mind. It takes over your body. It takes over your your soul, and you know everything else is sort of crushed, right? So, although she robbed her mom, I'll, I'll, I've got sympathies, right? I've got sympathies. Um, what else? Oh, fucking Nidge. Beat the fuck out of Tommy. Comatose. Brain damaged. Because Tommy and mess with Dono's wife. That was the episode four, wasn't it? That was episode four. So Tommy is um Tommy's hospitalized. Right? Tommy is um hospitalized. Tommy's still Tommy's still in the hospital. It's so I touch and go with her your survivor and you know, I've seen I've seen I've seen people walk away from car crashes. Horrific and perfectly fine. I've seen people um burn their heads on pavement die. You know? The the human body is a is an amazingly strong and an amazingly fragile thing. Right? Like it can take an amazing beating and take some amazing damage. It can also be struck down by not very much. Right, so Tommy's situation is eh. We'll see. Um, Nidge is feeling guilty about it. Darren is Darren's like sort of the Tommy thing sort of put Darren off track, right? It really is. But enough of that. This is episode six. This is the last of the season. Oh, I almost know what to switch on because something's got to happen. Like I, I don't know what I'm watching. Okay, fine. Deep breath. Here we go. Oh, um, so the IRA are taking their stuff out of storage because they're going to war. I get up that. The stuff they put in storage, they're taking out of storage. Brilliant. Darren's still wearing the same clothes, by the way. Same clothes. Same clothes. I mean, Ninja gave him two grand the other day. Give him two grand. Buy a new fucking hoodie, mate. Like, mock an effort. He was always smiling where he was. They grin and Joking all the time, making me laugh. I have a sister as well. Like you. Two boys and a girl. Why just Mary not speak to me? Yeah. I don't see her though. Because of it. After all he did for her. After all he did for her though. I mean. Who's he going back for? That could be his male. Is that what he's going back for? He's here. Oh, he's sure here. Yeah. Oh. Harry. Pig farm. The waiting game is over. Stupid muppet is back in the gaff. What did they tell you? You right? Do you think he'd be carrying? He's not carrying one of them. He ain't carrying one of the fucking doors, see? Why would you go back? Like, he obviously knows they're watching the place, right? What's he come back for? What possible need could he have to need to go back at? Mate, that is, that is, that is the most shit I've ever seen in my life. That is bad. He opens every drawer, he looks at the top. He opens the one that in and looks under it. The only drawer he actually puts his hand under it. That's just, that's just lazy, lazy. Lazy um, writing. Oh. The rest of his money. Who thought we'd end like that, sir? else to do. You bump off John Boy, you're the new boss, King Nidge, and it all goes to fucking shit within a couple of years. Don't let him see you. And ring me when you spot him, but don't let him see you otherwise you'll bolt. Don't know who's got us him. Yeah. I am don't a tough guy. Worry. Imagine he. Like with this skull all the time and a shaved head and like, you know. There's like fuck all need for it, really. Oh no! Oh yeah, fuck me! Oh, Nidge! Oh, darn, it's got a saver! 
Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Get him off! You're like a freak. Put him in the back of the car. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're kidnapping me. Oh, he's getting tortured. He's getting chopped down rock pieces. Holy shit! Holy fuck! Got him! Whoa! Whoa! I mean, Nidge owes him a lot more than 10 grand. Yeah, let's gotta get out of here. No! Oh. Oh. oh no! So she's lost two brothers. Two brothers! Did I not tell you to wait? No. Fucking pricks. No. Oh, it's a useless. You got away then. Imagine how much firepower. Yeah, I think so. Imagine how much firepower in people in South Scrub. I told you we could have got him in our own time, and now what? All the papers follow their lies again, criminalizing our struggle. Do you understand what you've done? For their lies. Like, it's nearly lies too, is it, mate? It's nearly lies. It's, you know. Do you think they realize they've got any self awareness? Like, I understand that there's a cause, and they're walking towards a cause, and all that. You know, I'm sympathetic towards it, right? Okay. Good one. But, inside, you're still doing bad things, right? You still know that, right? It's not wise what they're saying about you. You're still shooting people. You're still doing these things. Trying to justify it is like a stretch. Yeah. Fuck me. <sighs> Two of them was like a week. Finally. Finally, go to see Tommy. I'm gonna try and talk at him. Are you mad? Not Dano. <sighs> Above him, Tony. Are you mad? He's smart, you know. He could use me. That's what I figure anyway. Me. They have two men down, there's no talking to them. Yeah. I've nothing to do with you. Yeah. And that's what started it all. Tommy and Dan between a pair of them. You go near them. You nick them back. You back. I'm telling you now. Yeah, and it's, that's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. Because his life to them means absolutely nothing. Zero. Nothing. He's a insect. We're coming up to a now, Nidge. You sure about this now? So you turn around the van if you want to change your mind. I don't have a choice. You always have a choice. No, no, no. You don't have to. You don't. Otherwise I'll get it in the back of the head one day when I'm not looking. It's the day or never. What a fucking feeling. What a feeling waiting here. And stepping out of his car. Just... Are you the Dublin lad? Yeah. I was told to pick you up. Alright. Oh! Why am I nervous? Why the fuck am I nervous? I'm in the right place, am I? Come on. No, mate, you're not in the right place. You are not in the right place. No, you are, but you know what I mean. Wait here. Fucking hell. Get your clothes off there, hey. And put those on. All of them? Aye. And there's a pair of boots you can put on. I mean, like, there's no way Dino accepts what his dad did, right? There's no way Dino believes that his dad did that because, like, his dad is his hero. Tony, on the other hand, you know, possibly, but still, Nelson Mandela, freedom fighters.
But it's took him out of house, right? So that's a good, that's a good sign. Isn't it? Is that a good sign? Take him to our house. Not necessarily Tony's house, just our house. So you've been waiting there all day. They've actually made him wait. They've made him wait. Fuck. If it's Dono, you're dead. It's as simple as that. Dono walks through this door, you're fucked. Were you talking to the special branch? What? No. No way, man. Did you tell them you were meeting me? I don't know many branch men, I swear. Any guards at all? What do you mean? Were you talking to the guards? No. Kinda. I mean, they always have me in and out, but no. It was because someone remember threw a pipe bomb at Dano's car, and he thought that was something to do with me, so I was, I was... Who threw the pipe bomb? I don't know. Oh! What'd you say? I don't talk to cops. They ask you about what happened the other day when you were in the boot of the car. They said I knew it was because because your man getting shot, and they said they had they were they were obliged to warn me about my safety. They offer you a deal? No. Tell you to see me, did they? I don't talk to them. Yeah, exactly. Mate. If, if you offered him a deal, you wouldn't be sitting fucking there, would you? You wouldn't be sitting there. Who was it? Same fellow threw the pipe on. What happened to Gate? Wasn't there when it happened. What happened? Mate, you're sitting there. You've got to be honest, right? He gone looking for me in the bar we have, and this is what I was told, anyway. But he was. He was in a situation. He was in a situation where he was out the back raping a young one, and this is what was said. And she says it happened, and it was a scrap of two of the lads. And one of them broke his neck. Who was that? Oh, God. The same hammer head. The same headbanger I did a pipe on. And killed Paddy? And killed Paddy. Who is he? Oh, God. You met him when you were down. He was. He was a fellow laughing when your man was singing. And he shot a couple as well, didn't he? Yeah. Fucking hell. Oh, God. <sighs> Thing is, so... By get... By, by, by... Nidge... Saying this... It's like um, showing yourself to be untrustworthy, right? Like, he's folded under pressure immediately. You know? Or am I just like, you know... Yeah. Like, what would you do in that situation? You would do what he did. You have to, you have to do what he did. But you're showing the guy that he is garfold. But at least he's home, right? You walked away from it. Fucking hell. Well done, Nidge. It's not that he's a mate. He's decent, you know? He got the hell for you. Do whatever you ask him if you're his mate. I can't believe me even talking about it. But Nidge, it's either. It wasn't for Darren, I was gone, you know? It's either him or you. Go. Oh. We're taking him, eh? Yeah. I'll be over here, eh? Any trouble with anybody paying? No. What is it? It's all right now, Nidge, but everybody knows about the rare run in the old town. The next few weeks, gonna have to crack a few skulls mm. to get away. I'm not going away. That's all sorted, more or less. The boss man in the car there wants to speak to Emma. He's not here. We don't know where he is. Jerry, I know he's there. Look, if anything's going to happen, he wouldn't be here, would he? Just wants to talk to him. Elmo. Elmo. My old pal. Sorry for trying to murder you, Elmo. Listen, I just want to let you know that I sorted all that bullshit out for you. <laughs> I have to go to Dundalk. For you. Somebody, you know? For you. You heard he had me in the boot of the car. 
I was that close to getting done, Alan. Yeah. I'm not fucking kidding. So was he. So was fucking he. For something he didn't do. But I need you for something. Oh, they got to use Elmo to set up Dara then. Hey, let's get back to the gym myself. Huh? <laughs> oh, I haven't been ahead with me legs. Yeah, just believe it or not, mate. Oh, come on now, Edo. You're only making excuses for yourself, so you? Yeah, just believe in you, mate, Edo. Fuck you. I need to get back to the gym. Mary, thanks, Nitch. Yeah, it's not. Nitch is, um, yeah, that's it's, it's, it's fake. Right, Nitch is up to something. Is he said darn up? He is, is he? The driver's in his room. We'll have to get him. Keep the head Fucking hell, this is a cell pit. Hey, though. He's leaving. Yeah. Nothing. That's a cell. He, he leaves, Elmo comes in, and, you know, or somebody else. Elmo, you treasures little bitch. Oh, Cam. Oh, Edo, you fucking, you treacherous dick. I'm coming for you, you dick. Darren, what's the story, brother? What's the story? <laughs> I'll tell you what the story is, Nidge. You just tried to have me clipped there and you missed. Do you hear me? Darren, I... I swear to... Darren! Oh! Darren! So that was the season finale of Love Hate. That was the end of the season of Love Hate. It is the end of Darren. It is the end of my respect for Nidge. The way did that was fucking... No, I can't. It was scummy, wasn't it? Rather than serve up to IRA, he, 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 he wanted to do it by himself. Well, he wanted to do it by himself, but he arranged for it to happen. And he did it in a snake-like kind of way, right? Nidge Weasel. Right, we went for King Nidge to Nidge Weasel in that season. Um, yeah, so he decided rather than run, he wanted to mark a deal with Tony. He would explain the situation to Tony and like he would get a pass, not a pass, but you know, temporary pass. And as expected, Tony thought so it wasn't really interesting, get so much odds, you know. Because deep down he probably knew what he was, right? They're, they're soldiers, right? And, you know, and in this war, they're fighting with a real or imagined or exaggerated. There are um, consequences and there are, you know, losses and stuff. Now, I'm sure he, I'm sure he accepted that in, as long as Nidge wasn't pointing the finger at Tony. Tony didn't really give a fuck, right? He's got to use Nidge to transport weapons in but for it to work, they needed a they needed a sacrificial lamb. Another one, another one. So Nidge offers up Darren because you know, of course he had to be Darren. Right? Darren did pipe bomb Darren's car. Darren did finish get. Darren did shoot Paddy. You know, Darren did do all of those things. Right? He was a loose cannon this whole season. He was a loose cannon. But the way he did it, and then using Elmo. Elmo, my old mate, I sorted that stuff out for you. No, mate, you never sorted, you never sorted it out. 
you, you, you sort of diffused a problem you created. Nij, like Elmo wouldn't have had any issues if it wasn't for, for Nidge in the fucking first place. So to say, I started out, so I, I, I helped you, so you've got to help me. No, mate, you didn't. And uh, yeah, but hopefully these people pay for their sins next season, right? Hopefully Elmo and Edo and uh, Nidge. Karma's a, a, a thing, right? So hopefully they get a bit of karma next season. But it was, it was, it was the best season of Love Hate by far. By far. Season one was good. Season two was great. Season three was... I doubt if they'll top it in season four. I couldn't have seen them topping it. I just couldn't see it. But I guess we'll see. Um... So I guess season four, the Raw or so got to be involved, right? Maybe maybe it'll be a bit smoother because Nidge hasn't really had time to enjoy being a boss, is he? Right? He's not much time to enjoy being a boss. Hopefully Tommy comes up with coma. Yeah, in 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 I guess in a lot of ways, it is a blank slate for season four, right? They've tied up the loose ends, there's good writing. They've tied up the ends so that season four can go sort of any direction. Hopefully there's a time gap in Tommy's book because like, you know, we need Tommy. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I was, I was wonderful. I was heart pumping, anxiety, claustrophobia, and Darren gets killed by the rain party sister. What a fucking way to go. So what a, what a shocking unexpected way to go given Nidge a speech I'm coming for you Nidge or you try to clip me bang and I guess unlike um, unlike season one unlike season one he's Nick on referencing you saw the blood coming out of his head he's not he's, no he's not coming back from this one but thank you for watching thank you for um, subscribing following subscribing here if you enjoy that content I'm going to crack on with season four, amongst other things. Um, thank you to the guys on Patreon. I appreciate you so much. In, uh, I will catch you on the next one.